Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth video of Redux Toolkit tutorial series. In this video, we will create our first slice. So let's first understand our requirement that what we are going to build. So in this project, if you logged in, so we have two tabs, one is home and second one is post. So in this post, we can add the multiple events and inside the home, we can show multiple events Currently, I am showing a mock data. If you open the dashboard.js, we will see there is an array and inside the array, we have object. So let's create our first slice inside the Redux folder. You can create it anywhere. I am naming it post slice and the initial letter should be capital .js. You can name whatever you want. As I am making it for post page that's why i named it post slice and it is not mandatory to add slice in the name so let's import the create slice method from the redux toolkit import something from redux toolkit and we will import create slice now we have to create our initial state so we will create our state Cause initial state and initial state will be an object. So let's understand what state we need to be created. So according to rec our requirement, as soon as we add the event, all of the events should add it inside this particular dashboard. And if we see the dashboard code, it is expecting an array which has multiple objects. So we will create a state posts, which is an array. And in this array, we will add multiple objects. Now we have to create our first slice. So you can consider slice to generate our reducers and our action. So we have to write create slice. And this create slice method expects an object. And inside that object, we have to pass three keys. First one is name, the name of the slice. So I am passing post, you can pass anything. And the second key will be initial state. So in my case, the initial state name is initial state. So I'm just using the shorthand operator. And if you if your initial state name is different, you can pass this like that. But in my case, both are same. So I'll remove it. The third parameter will be reducers. So inside this, I will pass methods. So in the old tradition approach, we have to use switch statement inside our reducers but here we don't need to add switch statements we have to pass only methods so reducers is an object which take methods so now we want to add the post so we will pass our first method add post and it will take two parameters one is state and second is action and i'm passing the arrow function so we will get the state of the store and second the action so now i just want to fill this posts array so i will write state dot posts is equal to state dot posts and action dot payload let me explain this line so let's take an example and go to console let's open our console so for example, I have an array which has four values, three, four, five, six. Now I just want another value in this array. So I will wrap this array inside an array and using spread operator. And after that, I will add the my next value. So you will see the final result, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seven has been added to this array. So similarly, our new post has been added to this posts array. I hope this is clear. If you have still doubt, then you can read about spread operator. I hope you have noticed this thing that I am mutating the Redux state. Mutating means changing the Redux state directly. But Redux has a thumb rule that its state should be immutable. Immutable means not changeable. So this is a Redux state. 
and we are directly changing it. So in the old tradition approach, this is not a good practice. We are violating the Redux law. But this is another feature of Redux toolkit that you can mutate this state in your code and internally it will generate a immutable object. Let me write in the comment as well. Internally generating immutable object and immutable spelling is wrong. We will correct it. So if you remember in the Redux Toolkit video, I told you about one library that is Immer. So let's search for Immer. So this is Immer library that is by default installed by Redux Toolkit and internally Redux Toolkit uses Immer library to generate an immutable state. So now we don't need to fear for immutability. We can directly mutate our state. So now our first slice has been created successfully. Let's take this slice reference inside a variable that is post slice. You can name whatever you want. So let's generate our first action. So post slice contains the reducers and the action. If you see, we have the action and we have the reducer. So let's take our action first. So we will write const. Now, what should be the action name? Can you name it according to your need? No, the name should be same as this method. I'm repeating the action name should be same as this method. So you have to copy this method name and paste it here. So this add post will be your action. Now let's create our first reducer. Let's export default. I'm exporting my reducer also post slice dot reducer. So our action and reducer has been created. Let also export our action. Now our action and reducer has been created. Let's pass our reducer to the configure store. We have to first import our reducer. So we'll write import post reducer from post slice. Now we will pass post post reducer. So now our action and reducer has been created. So let's check our Redux dev tools. Let's refresh this application and go to the Redux, go to the init and you will see the post state has been added to our store. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, we will dispatch our first action. That means we will fill up this form and when clicking on submit button, our post should be added in this posts array. So thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.